Well, I think that 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 um, you know, compared to Western values, the Muslim Brothers hold a fairly retrograde position on many uh, gender issues. At the same time, I think that 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 um, the people invoking uh, gender or women's liberation as a as a as a reason to get rid of Morsi um, must be painfully disappointed by the realities of the CC government. I think that under the CC government, uh, women have been treated. Uh, as bad, if not worse, than under the Morsi's very otherwise very brief government. But at the same time, women have also been targeted in new ways. And um, one of the, I think, uh, interesting developments uh, since the third of July coup is the huge number of women who have mobilised in support of Mohammed Morsi and who have found themselves uh, the victims of unprecedented state violence. In really, I think, a way that hasn't been seen in, in contemporary Egyptian history. Um, I think that there was, uh, prior to the coup, a broad uh, societal commitment that so-called women are a red line. So you do not open fire on crowds of women. You don't use mass arrests against crowds of women. Um, that has now been broken. In fact, women are routinely targeted uh, by police forces. And indeed, in large areas of Cairo, um, anti-coup female protesters won't protest because certain police stations uh, have reputations for uh, the routine use of sexual violence uh, against them. And I think that's unprecedented. So, um, you know, to, to try and really kind of, you know, to, to make a kind of, uh, to respond to your kind of comparison, um, have women's rights improved under Sisi? Absolutely not. Have they gotten worse? I think so. I think Egypt, if you go back some time, and I mean, this predates Morsi, it predates the... Um the Egyptian uprising in 2011, but Egypt has an issue uh, with mistreatment of women. I mean, this is a this is this is something that has been uh, a problem. Uh, we we know about you know you know problems with domestic violence. Uh, we know about issues with sexual assault. There's the you know the notorious uh, you know um, virginity tests that the state, the military, has performed on Egyptian girls, young women. Um, so Egypt has a long history of this kind of kind of repression. Now, I think uh, one could argue that, number one, the Morsi period didn't witness any sort of great advance for women's rights. Uh, that's, you know, fair enough. I don't think there was any big advance for, for women's uh, rights per se. I don't necessarily think there was any noticeable regression, and I don't know of any incidents where... Um, you know, the Morsi regime would have been directly at fault for, for, for crimes against women. Um, but I think it was also too early to tell. I mean, we, we, needed, we needed a larger sample size. You know, the Morsi period, again, people forget, it was, it was 12 months, you know, kind of in and out, and really a lot of just kind of putting out fires. So it's difficult really to evaluate his policy toward women. Maybe it would have ended up being acceptable. Maybe it would have been ended up ending up being not very good at all. Uh, and worthy of a lot of criticism. But I think in the CC period, things have gotten significantly worse. And that's not surprising, because the treatment of women is directly tied to the authoritarian state. Uh, and Egypt is living in an authoritarian state right now. So women have become targets of the state in these moments of crackdown. If you look right now, uh, the number of female political prisoners in Egypt is at an all-time high. Uh, levels of sexual violence uh, and uh, torture of women inside the prisons are at an all-time high. Attacks on women and female protests. Some of the protests that we're talking, we talked about the anti-coup protests. Some of these are all women protests. And the, the state has used these thugs to attack these uh, these these women, these female protests on college campuses and also uh, in the streets of Egypt. So, um, you know, the woman, the woman has really been reduced to this kind of this authoritarian slave. I mean, Sisi does have followers from amongst Egyptian women, but it's very interesting to read some of what they write. And, and there have been a lot of commentaries written in the Egyptian uh, media, but it's, you know, women talking about how he's so handsome um, so, you know, and he's, he's such a, he's such a strong man. So it kind of further, you know, even their discourse, I think further underscores their subjugation, the subjugation of the female in this new authoritarian order.